Boy, this thing makes cool turbo noises. Shoo! Hello, friends and family. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little bit. Um, a lot has happened. Um, feller got a new tow rig. Um, and this is like the eighth million one. Uh, so, yeah, you know, Dodge is gone. This big girl is back in. And I wanted to show you. So, let's check it out. Well, here's where guys at. This is a 04 GMC Sierra 2500 SLE flavor. Uh, long wheel base. Very specific reason why I got that. And that's because it looks really cool. No, really, uh, we tow quite a bit down here. You know, I got trailers and stuff and things. So the short bed, you know, especially the, with the Dodge, I had the stack in there and boy, couldn't tow nothing couldn't put nothing back there you put a four-wheeler back there and you can't even close the tailgate which sucks so this one is a long box um it's got all sorts of towing goodies on it i'm gonna bring you in here let's let's check it out big old cattle pusher in front guy really didn't like that fun fact when i picked it up but honestly after having it for a little bit it is kind of growing on me uh we'll walk to the back here and i'll show you what's going on so in the wheel well here you see bmw turnover hitch airbag set up for towing nice bill stings 5100s um if you know you know those you know what i mean uh outside of like a fox or an icon or something really crazy that's like the best bang for your buck shock you know these days it really is better than ranchos I will just tell you right now, my humble opinion. Uh, got the Ridge Grapplers on here, the Nittos. We'll open up door here, let's see. Oh, newer style 2500 mirrors, which I do like, and they do work, wired them in perfectly, even the heated ones work, okay. Inside, very clean, keep in mind this is an 04, okay, so. Um, but it looks amazing. I mean, even headliner, center console, dash, got a cracked windshield, ignore that. Four wheel drive, obviously. Um, got my trailer brakes wired in, I got backup lights, and I have uh, rock lights, which I actually will show you those right now. Shining really bright looking like an american flag out here one of my favorite parts about the truck that's actually we'll just walk around it with those on i just think they look real cool we'll get you back out here so i am the third owner of this truck uh the person i got it from second owner he bought it from the original one obviously and this guy just cared on this thing and loved it like a baby i mean and this thing again 04 i mean really doesn't have any paint issues a little bit of rock chips as you can see when we get in here very common on the roof which you probably can't see a couple small little issues there paint peeling which is also super common for a chevrolet of these years and then right here is the worst part of the truck i don't know if you can tell but this area and story has it is the original owner was trying to wax on the thing and tried some special magic goop and nope, didn't work. So, um, oh, and then I forgot this 
little whiskey dent right here, which I am going to pop out. I just really keep forgetting. Um, but other than that, I mean, laser straight, no other dents, no other scrapes. This is a uh, Craigslist side over here. We'll show you this side right here. Look at that. Nothing there. So, uh, this is the LOI version. And I've had about a zillion of these over the years, you know. Uh, fun fact, you guys don't know, I used to work for Chevrolet. Um, I used to actually run a Chevrolet dealership about seven or eight years ago. And um, so, Chevy fan, right? Short story. And we've had a bunch of these. And so this will be like my fifth Duramax, I believe. Um, and I love every single one of them. I've gotten really, really good at them. I know what they like, what they don't like, what works, what doesn't work, uh, what goes out, what doesn't go out. Can a guy get this open here? Goodness. There is the magic up there. Really nothing real special. Um, it does have a whirly fab intake and turbo horn you see down in there. Um, it does have a boost bypass valve, uh, which you might be able to see a little blue thing in there. Uh, that just helps the wastegate a little bit, delays the opening of it, helps boost sustain a little bit longer. Um, it's got a fuel pressure upgrade from PPE just to help the rail pressure from not falling off under high boost. Um, it has an Air Dog 165 lift pump on it. Um, the LOIs are pretty common for having an injector cup issue. Um, they leak and it just, it gets ugly. So it's got new OEM Bosch injector cups in there, um, stock injector sizing, but they have been flow tested and all of that. Uh, five speed Allison, which I will be honest, the six speeds are superior. <laughs> Let's just, we'll just get, you know, we'll just call it what it is, but the five speeds aren't bad. Um, and you know if i had my choice yes i would get a six speed and it probably would be an lbz um but these lois are bulletproof this is my th third or second loi that i've had and um having good luck with them i mean duramax is if you just do normal maintenance on them and don't just you know rag them out constantly these things live forever and so I also got full five inch exhaust. Um, I got a three and a half inch down pipe that has been custom made by my local guy at the muffler shop. Um, trying to think. Um, it's got LED lights, courtesy of Evil Bay, I'm pretty sure. Maybe Amazon, don't really recall. Uh, GR trailers, uh, full cattle guard bumper. And so I did get the factory bumper when I bought this truck. Uh, because when I first seen this, I really didn't like it at all. But honestly, um, I didn't have the intake when I bought it. It was a stock air box, so I put this on. And honestly, because the truck sits up so tall, being able to stand here and lean the belly over and get in there, I mean, huge help. I probably wouldn't be able to do it if I didn't have this bumper. And so because of that, a guy's just going to keep it a little longer. Um, yeah, so it does have a six inch lift on it. Sorry, I didn't point that out, but you can obviously see the truck's lifted. Um, 36s on it, kind of a weird tire size, 325s. And these are 16 inch wheels. Little baby guys. Um, this wheel and tire setup was on the truck when I got it. I do have some wheels on order. Not gonna tell you guys what it is yet. Just kind of gonna let you drink it in a little bit, but I will show you when they come in. We'll do another little quick walk around of this thing. Did I lock my keys in there? Uh-oh. Wait, no, no, I didn't. Crisis averted. Very clean interior. Just going to point out. Front windshield is tinted. Don't tell Johnny Law. Got Mini-Me's seat back there just a beautiful example of an older rig and you know this being an sle with a cloth option but it did have the option for the center console uh dual zone climate control and bows so pretty well equipped um it's got these are actually go recon tail lights which is pretty awesome um and also peculiar because 
very expensive Go Recon tail lights and Amazon special headlights. Go figure that. Five inch exhaust out to an eight and a half inch tip. This thing sounds amazing, which I believe you heard. If not, I'll cut to that clip. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Did you hear that? Sounded really good. I think that'll do it for this walk around here. Let me know if you guys want to see anything more of this. Um, I don't really know the plans for the truck. So this, you know, the used diesel market is still just as goofy and as crazy as ever. Um, I was hunting a long box. You know, you can find these, which they are, you know, just under a million dollars. They're People are pretty proud of these things, but you just can't find a long bed. 99.7% of them are short boxes and I've had enough short boxes and you know believe you me if you tow a lot you have fifth wheels goosenecks whatever you know that that sucks so um the long box is you know in my opinion pretty elusive uh, more desirable to some so that is you know that is my take on it but this has been like dream truck I was looking for. I actually wanted a 3,500 single rear wheel. Uh, this is a three quarter ton. But just after I picked this up, I found my other holy grail, which is an LBZ and a dually. And so I um, always wanted one of those just because, you know, I like the way that they set when you get them level just right and some nice wheels on them. Um, and you know i i do tow a lot but not really enough to justify a dually i just always wanted one so you know who knows but a guy's kind of thinking maybe i can trade on this or maybe i can sell it or you know i don't know i certainly don't need both of them you know and i really don't even need a dually it's just more of a want i guess but um might list this thing quick see if i can get my money back out of it at least and if that happens, um, you will see the dually and you will see it on the next video. So thank you guys for following along. Thank you for your love and support. Sorry, it's been a minute. It's just been a little crazy. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek on the house. It is just about all colored and black. The lath is just about done. As you can see, the roof still is not done, but we do have material finally. And so, yeah. So the next video you'll see will be a little update on that. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you real soon. Choo, buddy.